Hi, good evening everyone, it's just Damien here. Um, I'm trying some new equipment out that I've bought for the channel. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but the tripod and that that I use or have been using is more like a selfie stick and I don't know if I've explained it before in videos, but the issue is with it, uh, the issue is with it, um, the slightest knock or the slightest knock on it uh, and the slightest play about with the phone or whatever, it doesn't always uh, work sensitively. It keeps falling falling down even when it's on top of the coffee table. Um, but I have been out and bought um, a proper tripod, uh, proper camera tripod. It's got... Uh, the flexibility now where I can get the camera closer to me and I can get the camera closer to me. I still haven't worked out how to get myself uh, proper central with the video with the camera yet. Uh, it's just that it's just that uh, I'm not used to it and the camera is from is looking at the phone sticks out of the tripod to the right but it'll be from your left or whatever but yeah i'm working on that um i was on facebook marketplace uh the other night and it is popped up um i don't know why it popped up because i'm not normally with the criteria for that i put five kilometers or five miles uh five kilometers five miles uh however I haven't really been looking for it. I was on uh, just on the marketplace and opened it up and I don't think I'd even searched for anything, but it popped up for seven pounds with a bag. Um it was out of town. Uh it was more South Bank area, middle uh, Middlesbrough area South Bank. Uh but my dad works on the railway and we get a free train pass. So we can get the get the train for free so it didn't cost me anything going and picking it up so i'm more than pleased with it um it's a lot more sturdier and a lot more robust uh and it's given me options it's given me flexibility uh but i also had to get the phone fixed because i haven't had it for for very long. Uh, Free gave me it last year, and I only use it for filming or streaming apps. Possibly, I haven't used the streaming apps and that yet on it, but I've put streaming apps on it like Sky Go and that for when I'm away or whatever, where I can use the Android on this or whatever. But I have noticed the other day it's only a bit. A, visible in the correct light where there is uh where there is a dent in the screen or a couple of dents so I contacted free they gave me 150 pounds towards getting some repairs done uh the repair was 105 pound with a screen protector but I'm a little bit peeved off because it did say is it a full screen protector I want a full screen protector however the issue is the issue is that that cost me an extra ten pound for a screen protector, but shops, but shops don't, uh, shops don't stock, uh, screen protectors for Xiaomi phones or cases because they're not very popular in the UK. So, so I said I wanted a free, uh, full screen protector, and it's not. It doesn't cover the full phone. Uh, part of it's covering the screen, but there's a bit of bezel, there's a bit of bezel at the top of the screen, a bit of bezel at the bottom of the screen. But what happened? What happened was with an old, old with a with the iPhone that I've got, I had some issues before where the top part, the top part by the speaker that wasn't covered on the screen protector. And with keys and that in your pocket, it gets more likely to get scratched. 
sort of ordered a pack of foot proper screen protectors for it and I'm just trying to find I'm gonna have to find somewhere tomorrow that'll fit it that'll fit them on. Um I did go to one of the shop and one of the shops and they said they might be able to do it for free but I went to one of the shop and because I didn't get the screen protector from him he won't put it on for me. Uh he said he won't he said he won't put it on for me. Uh because I went to I'd telling me to put it on myself but I, I wouldn't be comfortable doing it. Uh but um looking at the options i'm looking at keeping things a little bit more structured a little bit more routine based than that with with the channel uh and this tripod i can feel it now that it's going to make a massive difference um i can get get it a bit more closer to me i can get it a bit more to how i want i'm not a, i'm not there fully yet i don't understand the tripod fully this is and on heart the first video that I've made with it. I got the phone, I got the tripod two days ago, but I wasn't gonna do any filming that on the phone until I got the screen protector sorted properly in that. But I just wanted to get a new video made because I haven't done one in a week or so, or maybe it's more. Uh, but I'm a little bit trying to keep jobs in that that focused. Um, I'm in the process of getting jobs done around the home. Um, the dressing room uh, is taking shape. It's getting varnished now. But my mum needs to come over and finish the varnish off, do a couple of touch-up bits with the paint. But it's looking a million dollars. Uh, and I've just had to send my coffee table away to get repaired. Um, what it is is... It's I bought it from Bright House when I moved in. Um, I would never buy furniture from Bright House on finance. Um, I always try to buy things in cash. Uh, the only times that I've really had finance on a device is the flat on the mortgage and a couple of phone contracts but other than that cars and other stuff in the past have always paid in full or tried to at least um but i bought this coffee table uh it was a return stock that someone had sent back and i've had issues with it during the year and that kind of thing during the years where if a drink or something gets spilt on it uh that if a drink or something gets spilt on it then then it the middle bit was ruined i was going to swear there but i'm not the middle bit was ruined so it was like swollen up um, mum needed to vanish it and resigned it anyway so i went to the joinery firm the door where i normally get bits like the dressing room done and the pitch rail in here um don't normally do repairs but i said uh, sent a bit in the table for £40 pound plus £44 pound, uh, something for the glass top uh, and it's done it needs varnishing and that but it's it's got the glass top on it's got the glass top and that on but the bloke said today that the hat that they had some issues taking it apart so they had to put a complete new top on it as well so it just needs varnishing that by my man, but they haven't charged me any more, to be honest with you. The bill is a little bit cheaper than what he first quoted me anyway, because he got into confusion about how much the, it was going to be. He didn't he, he didn't really charge me the full amount for the glass. It should have been £44 something, but he's only charged me he's only charged me um eighty. It should have been eighty four pounds something, but he's charged me eighty, but I am more than happy with it. I'm a happy boy, happy lady. I'm more than happy with it. Uh, but yeah, I might get him a box of chocolates or something for doing that. Uh, he didn't have to charge me any. He didn't have to not charge me any extra, but I'm more than happy with it. But but yeah, um, but yeah, um, it's looking good. I'll show you it once it's vanished and that. I, I don't, my mum, I don't know yet if it's going to go to my mum's or anything temporary. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go to my mum's or anything temporary until she can vanish it, just so that it saves uh, time for that. Uh, but 
but yeah it's it looks good it looks looks nice and that um i have got a couple of ideas for events and that kind of thing i have applied for a speed dating event to to not a speed dating event a singles night uh tomorrow night at my hometown uh the only issue is i don't know where it is because i haven't disclosed the information and i don't 100 percent know if it's going on uh, there's been times where i have applied for events in the past and they've been cancelled uh but it was about 16.99 17 pounds so hopefully i could get get out meeting a new a uh, few new people and a few new people and if it goes ahead um but i'm not building my hopes up until i know what's going on uh but yeah um i have heard back from the solicitors and everything but i was a little bit peeved off last week because i'd run the solicitors for some clarification on what was going on and they got a bit abrupt the lady that answered the phone but you were told this on tuesday uh you told all this information on tuesday but with me with the autism i struggle to retain information uh what i do find help from that is to have things written down on a copy on the laptop so that i can save say so that i can copy and paste what i've got saved into a text reader then if then have it played back to me as hearing it back so yeah i'm looking into that um i've been looking at something that's gonna show the journey that i've been on and the confidence and the femininity more and um, what it is is i when i'm upset i don't always give myself credit uh to what's going on and focus more on the negative and there's i don't know if you've noticed in uh uh videos or anything but generally there's no photos around the flat uh, there's there's a few cards there's a few furniture there's mirror tv a uh, couple of vases with posh plants in not posh plants but fake plants or fake leaves but there's no pictures in that so what i'm thinking about do there's a clock as well to go on the wall well i've not had a chance with uh however what i'm wanting to do it's going to cost a bit of money uh but what i'm wanting to do is just more for myself really is get a professional photographer involved uh that can take me some pictures looking a bit girly get me to pose in the right way getting to be a bit more feminine uh, so that when i'm upset and and where i can show the world as well that this is damien this is the journey that i'm on this is this is the confidence that i feel when i'm dressed this is me and i'm proud of it so i was going to book something in yesterday uh, for next week or the week after however i am not i wanted to book it in for the sake of it but i need to look into it properly because the issue is uh the issue is it's a normal it's a photoshop in my own town and the but the the issue is i've got a little bit of a studio there but for one there's no way to dress to, to change there so i'd have to keep popping into the cornell shopping center a couple of times to, to change my clothes to to go, go there go back and another thing i don't feel confident in that posing femininely and posing femininely where there's going to be other members of staff about and and customers at the same time i'd rather do somewhere i'd rather do something where it's a, where the photographer's either coming here to do it or i'm in a set studio where it's just me and the photographer and places where i can change so i have emailed 
few organisations and that today regarding that. I know I know Jackie said that I know Jackie Jackie, I know you get on well I know that I get on well with you and everything, but I know that you said that you wouldn't recommend doing the pictures and that, but I wouldn't be confident I wouldn't be confident doing them on my own and I want them to be done professionally where someone's getting the best out of me where I can know how to pose know how to be a bit more feminine know how to look a bit more feminine in the correct way on the camera so that I can get the best out of it and it's about trying new things learning new situations I know that I do have an interest in media and I am using a phone for for photography and that not photography for the videos and the selfies but I wouldn't be confident laying on a couch posing and that kind of thing and I would and to get the type of pictures that I want I'd need someone to to be able to operate the camera in that as well so so yeah I would want to get it done where I can learn more about myself and have it as a experience uh like have it as an experience day like as a treat so i know what you're saying about saving a bit of money but i've got the money anyway and i want to put it in towards developing myself developing the channel developing the social image that i want so and i do want to get a career career out of the media work and that as well so it's going to look a bit more professional on my resume uh it's it it might look a bit like a dress on this, but it's not. It's it's a black shirt. <laughs> but yeah, um, I went to the solicitor's dressed with the girls out. So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed with the dressing on Monday because I had the dress on. And it was the wrong way around again. The grey dress, the grey dress. I might be the and the black one as well, but more likely the grey one. Um, you can wear it anywhere around and I did I did try to check with the label and that before I put it on but I was sat at the restaurant the other day I put my collar and filmed it like this whilst I was waiting for the food and it was inside the wrong way around so I went up to the little girls room little boys room and got that sorted but yeah I'm um, on a journey with the dressing and the femininity I honestly am enjoying it um, I am enjoying the journey I do like walking past a shop window house window or a mirror or anywhere I can get my f reflection when I'm dressed and like go and like look at myself in the mirror and uh, and smile and think this is me, this is the journey I'm on, I'm proud of it. And there is times as well where I do rub where the breasts are, where the bra is. I've done that a few times on camera if you want to check. But, but yeah, it's the, as I say, the journey that I'm on, I am really proud. And um, if someone had told me last year that if someone had told me last year or this time last year or April time last year and that that I'd be going out in public dressed and making a channel where I'm dressed wanting to go on holiday where I'm dressed and wanting to get some photos looking feminine looking my best I'd be like no way that's not me but look at me I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying the femininity I'm enjoying putting the dress on I'm enjoying getting the girls out I'm really enjoying the dressing and I don't know how far that I would like to dress I with the dressing and that as well I get more anxiety really wearing ladies jeans and a t-shirt and the ladies trousers rather than a full dress for some reason I do have a pair of jeans what I'm saving for my holidays so I will start wearing them and that eventually 
Uh, but as I say, looking feminine, looking a bit girly in that, I do, I do enjoy it, and it's a nice, relaxing experience. It's I, I do try to force myself on that as well to get, to get one day a week out of being dressed and that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I would never have thought I'd get this far. Uh, but I'm slowly getting there. Um, I'm slowly getting there. Um, I don't want the uh, uh, sex reassignment surgery. Um, I know that. Um, however, I do. I still do get pleasure, and I don't have to for you there. Um, I just like wearing the clothes, looking and behaving femininely. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow might be a bit of uh, experience going on a day on a singles night again. I uh, did go on one a few years ago, but I wasn't successful. Uh, hope, hopefully, if it is isn't on, they might reschedule it or get a refund. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking at opportunities. Um, trying to try new experiences. I'm trying to be me. I'm sleeping in nighties. Um, wearing ladies' clothes, and I'm really proud of it. And um really proud of it hand on heart hand on heart i can say that my name's damien i'm a stresser i like wearing ladies clothes i like wearing the bra i like wearing the makeup i like wearing the the lipstick i like wearing the jewelry and i'm proud of it i don't have to be ashamed of not wanting to fit in anymore because of it and i know that a lot of people say that it's not normal uh but it and other stuff in my life's not normal normal but what is normal anyway it's being yourself and being that way and what might be normal to say use might not be normal for me and what's normal normal for me might not be normal for you so um really do hand on heart like putting the dress on putting the boots on putting the lipstick on, putting the mascara on. I don't go too far with the makeup. I put a little bit of lipstick on, I put a little bit of mascara on. I have a wig, but the wig gets too itchy and it doesn't look right on me. And I do like and enjoy the dressing. I never thought, if I'd never thought last year that I'd ever be able to say them the words be able to say this to myself but I it made me feel physically sick thinking about it last year but it's like now now it's like I'm I'm a cross dresser I wear ladies clothes I'm proud of it but I don't want to go by the label of a cross dresser or the label of a transvestite the label of a transsexual the label of a artistic person I'd rather go by the by being myself um I don't identify as a gender I don't identify as a disability I don't identify as a race I am Damien and I want to be seen as Damien uh but yeah um I'm proud of the journey that I'm on. I do have ideas in my head of what I want to do to develop the channel. I do have ideas of how I want to date and how I want to be seen dating. I have made a naked attraction video on YouTube where I'm fully naked in that. That's got an age one on it, but but that video, that video, and two videos before that, uh, the most views that I've had on videos for the last year and a half, two year nearly, 
uh, but the one where I'm fully naked's got more views. Uh, but I know that I've spent a bit of money on the channel uh, with relating to tripods and things. Uh, and I do want to get things set up and that kind of thing. I was hoping to, what I was thinking of is that some of the money that I didn't, didn't spend uh, for the phone repair I was thinking about uh, giving that to a charity, uh, putting the extra £45 I hadn't spent towards a disability or LGBT charity or mental health charity but I'm going to have to spend a little bit more than what I thought because I've had to buy some more screen protectors because I'm not happy with the one that's been put back on and Free want me to use that money towards credit for my phone uh, so I would like to develop the channel as well and I would like to start giving back to the community and uh, to people that have supported me over the years like to big high fives Jackie you're the CPN that I didn't have uh, you're the CPN that I wish I had and I'm glad that we do have weekly checks so Jackie big round of applause goes to you uh, Julie Gutteridge uh, you work with Jackie to help get the familiar, for, familiar faces reports together to help get to help get uh, some of the restrictions and that lifted about security and that kind of thing and to all the Dalton Association Disability, Tracy, Catherine, Jane and Claire and everyone uh, yeah, stood through me through thick and thin with what was going on for the Mount Health team so big round of applause goes to you um, I know that I do get upset and that as well and I know that we can work together and get things sorted also a round of applause to my solicitor and to the communication therapist I do mean it and I do really appreciate your help um, I know that there's been issues with, around boundaries with communication because of the way I express myself and I try to explain a situation and it spirals out of control because I dig myself into a bigger, a bigger hole in that um, so my communication therapist will be working with me uh, again this year um, for trying to get this boundary work and that in place about what I can disclose, what I can't and that kind of thing so I'm looking forward to working with her again she does charge and she's a little bit more expensive and however, however I know that it's going to be done correct with her because it needs to be done by a professional that understands autism because most of the care and that that I'm struggling with most people don't understand it and it needs to be done by someone that owns me that knows me best so she's professional with autism she knows me she knows me and she's got autism herself so she has personal experience which is going to go into my favor as well so so yeah I'm um, going out trying to go out at least once a week with the girls out dressed and there's a couple of times where i'm trying to force myself for it to happen where i'm trying to make myself go and go out dressed and that and i do as i said i do enjoy it so i have been out at least once a week since the back end of november last year there's been a couple of weeks i don't know if it was two or three weeks in a row where i had been out and while the while the dressing that twice in a week so twice or yeah but yeah i'm um, enjoying it um i've got ideas and that that i'd like to work on um and i can't wait for the new opportunities to arise uh i am looking forward towards getting things 
back on track hopefully uh, no more arrests than that because of the misunderstandings with the autism and that kind of thing hopefully that some of that's starting to settle settle soon uh but yeah um but yeah um yeah um i would like to finish really or towards the end uh just talk about about some about some of the films and that that i've been watching some of the tv series that i've been watching and that kind of thing um i've been watching the formula one and i find that that that's been helping and i do do uh like formula one and that i watch it on the tv uh, i've got a sports package in that uh, and I've been watching a few films online that as well, um, a few Garfield films and a, a few other ones. Uh, the one of the ones, one of the films in that that I'd seen, uh, one of the films in that that I'd watched was late 80s, early 90s, called Turner and Hooch. And I was in tears when the dog was dying and the dog died at the end so so yeah um there's there's been a series on disney plus um i don't i i don't have disney plus but i'd stream the film another way uh the series sorry uh and uh i thought it was going to be uh a remake and it wasn't going to be very good but it wasn't really a remake it was the story of the the guy that it was about the story of the guy that uh tom hanks played he died having a heart attack trying to trying to uh save trying to save the trying to save dogs and that and there was a big massive case and his children that were looking into his case and the the children that were looking into his case and his children that were looking into his case and uh it the children's mum the child it had characters and that set around the previous film like like the the woman that played the woman that played the vet in the woman that played the vet in the first in the first film was a different actress to the one that that played that played the vet in this film even though that they were supposed to be the same character uh and the 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 guy that played his assistant in the original one the black guy i'm not being racist there i'm not being racist uh the the block that played the black guy in the original one uh he was in in the the in this series playing himself so so yeah it's so basically uh he he had got given a dog what tom hanks or turner scott turner or whatever had uh picked up from another from a dog shelter and it reminded him of the original hooch so he called him hooch and that kind of thing and the the dog became handed to him and he became a police officer he was already a police officer but he was using the dog as the dog unit and that and the the woman uh the woman at the dog dog train center and that she honestly fell in love with this scott turner and that kind of thing scott turner uh did get together with his ex and she made him 
آه he she made him choose between the dog or her, her uh, uh, and he chose the dog and this this but this Erica Das I think he fancied her as well but he was too scared to say it because there was glimpses there was glimpses of him fancying Erica and that through the film like she was teaching him a dance uh, but he was teach she was teaching him a dance and when he was trying to do this posh dance with his partner um, there was flashbacks that he was having I think of him dancing with Erica uh, and there, there were a few other signs in that as well that he possibly liked liked her and that kind of thing but at the end they were at a wedding um, not his wedding is one of his work colleagues wedding and the his work colleague that had, had the baby she was heavily pregnant throughout the series and she said you've you've uh, you've come along where you and I and that kind of thing and she said that you come along long way you and I and uh, we still need to work on some I can't remember what she said and that she said that we still need to work on some things with him but I can't remember what she said but she said she said to him that you you're a single guy what you do what you're doing you're a single guy at a wedding at a wedding and you should be dancing and with that dancing and he said who should I, who should I be dancing with hooch like joking and that and she said to him she said to him that you know who to be dancing with and then he looked then she pointed at Erica and that and he got up she he smiled at Erica and he smiled at Erica and uh, he smiled at Erica and Erica smiled at him. Uh, they were gonna. There was times that, as I was saying about glimpses in the film and that about her, how he fancied her and her fancy in him. Uh, one of the glimpses were when it was shown his work colleague getting married when they were when they were all watching the ceremony when they were saying the vows and that you could see him looking at Erica and Erica smiling and them smiling at each other uh, but so he got up to dance with her she got up to she got up to dance with him and and then Hooch, it didn't show them dancing because Hooch had ran over and knocked the cake down to eat it at the end. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's, I really enjoyed that series. I didn't think I would, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, but, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, however, if it was me, however... However, if it was me personally, um, if it was me personally and if I was in his situation or if I was him, uh, I would have chose Erica really um, out of all the women in that, out of all the women in that in the film in the film in the series sorry out of all of the women in that in the film in the film or no the series it was Erica that I found the connection with and it was Erica that that I liked the most and I'm glad he made the right choice but yeah it was a good series uh, but yeah if it was me personally I would have chose Erica uh, I did find 
the, his work colleague attractive at the beginning uh, but I always do find pregnant women when they've got the glow about them attractive as well but I found throughout it all I found Erica more attractive and more funny and that kind of thing so yeah so yeah um, when it's watching films like that with a bit of a love story in it and with a love story in it and with a love story in it and things like that it does upset me more it does upset me because I've never really experienced love or whatever and uh, and I uh, I haven't really experienced love in that but it makes me more determined to to find love uh, but there was one line there were when Erica was in the back when Erica was going with with one of the with one of the people that work on Scott's team to try to find Scott uh, uh, when he was going with one of the team to try to find Scott when she was going with one of the guys to try to find Scott because he'd been kidnapped and that kind of thing uh, she was on about being in love or or whatever and he he was on about following your heart and that kind of thing and he was saying to her to follow her heart to do this to do that but that's where what I'm trying to do with this channel with the dressing and that and I know that it upsets a lot of people are a few people are uncomfortable with it uh, but I need to follow my heart with it I need to follow my heart with it and that's why I want to get the professional pictures and that done so that I can look at the pictures when I'm walking around the home whether I'm in guy clothes or ladies clothes where I can look at the pictures and go yeah this is me and this is who I am this is the journey that I'm on but yeah I'm, I'm really really enjoying the journey and as I say there's been times when I've got the bra and that on you can see in the camera where I'm rubbing where the breasts are supposed to be and yeah um, yeah it's it's a magical experience. I never thought I'd, I never thought I'd have the confidence to do this. As I said, when I first started, it made me feel physically sick. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. Bye.